Charles Spencer shares beautiful video of Princess Diana's final resting place. The late Princess of Wales is buried in the grounds of Althorpe House. Charles Spencer has shared a serene video via Instagram of the tranquil spot where his beloved sister, the late Princess Diana, was laid to rest. The Princess of Wales was buried on an island in the centre of the Oval Lake in Althorpe Park's Pleasure Garden at her family's ancestral home of Althorpe House. Nearby is an arboretum containing trees planted by the Princess's sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. The Earl captioned the video, Beautiful bird song down by the round oval lake at Althorpe House just now. Princess Diana was not buried in the family vault in the nearby village of Great Brington, as was the original plan. Twenty generations of Spencer's over 500 years had been buried in Spencer Chapel, but her brother decided in the interests of security that she be buried on the island. The BBC reported at the time, Earl Spencer, was concerned about public safety and security and wanted his sister to be buried where her grave could be looked after properly and visited in privacy by her sons. In 1998, he said the island would act as a buffer against the interventions of the insane and ghoulish, the thick mud presenting a further line of defense. We all agreed that, with its beauty and tranquility, this was the place for Diana to be. While the committal was private, the princess also had a public funeral at Westminster Abbey. Prince Harry wrote about taking his wife, Meghan, to his mother's final resting place in his memoir, Spare. He wrote, I led Meg up the path, around a hedge, through the labyrinth. There it was, looming, the greyish-white oval stone. No visit to this place was ever easy, but this one. 25th Anniversary and Meg's first time. At long last I was bringing the girl of my dreams home to meet mum. We hesitated, hugging, and then I went first. I placed flowers on the grave. Meg gave me a moment, and I spoke to my mother in my head, told her I missed her, asked her for guidance and clarity. Feeling that Meg might also want a moment, I went around the hedge, scanned the pond. When I came back, Meg was kneeling, eyes shut, palms against the stone. I asked, as we walked back to the boat, what she prayed for. Clarity, she said. And guidance. The prince also stayed at Althorpe during his most recent visit to the UK as he joined Prince William at their uncle Lord Robert Fellow's funeral at St. Mary's Church in Snettisham, Norfolk. Althorpe House has also had a dramatic weekend, with a fire started by what the Earl described as use in balaclavas on an empty industrial unit on the estate. The late Princess of Wales was known for her love of statement jewellery, particularly pearls and oversized earrings and Meghan often accessorizes with delicate pieces or former items from Diana's collection. Princess Diana was known for her sophisticated style, which evolved from traditional royal attire to more contemporary looks over time and Meghan has tried to mirror the evolution. Jaws dropped when Meghan Markle stepped onto the Salute to Freedom Gala red carpet in New York back in November 2021, wearing a bold red dress. Meghan wore a dress designed by Wiz Gordon for the brand Carolina Herrera. It featured a plunging sweetheart neckline which had two straps across the shoulders. The bustier then meets a waistband which a pleated ball over skirt falls from, and at the front of the dress is made from silk in the shade poppy. It was also featured on the Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan and Meghan can be seen going for a fitting head of the event. Princess Diana stunned in a short red evening dress with cap sleeves as she arrived for dinner in Buenos Aires, Argentina, in 1995. The dress which featured a red halter strap was designed by Catherine Walker and has very similar features to Meghan Markle's gown. Catherine Walker a French-born designer based in London was one of Princess Diana's favorite designers, and she designed many outfits for the late princess. Meghan chose to wear the late Princess Diana's favorite designer, Carolina Herrera, 
at her first Trooping the Color in 2018. She opted for a baby pink off-the-shoulder dress with button detailing, and a matching light pink hat by Philip Tracy for the celebration. Meghan's outfit was notable because it technically broke royal protocol, per the sun fashion tradition usually dictates that royal women do not wear off-shoulder or other more revealing styles. Princess Diana wore a glorious pink satin evening gown to the premiere of the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. In London, England on November 21, 1988. The design by Catherine Walker featuring a deep off-shoulder neckline that showed off her décolletage. This look appeared to be a source of inspiration for Meghan's Trooping the Color Ensemble in 2018, where she chose a Carolina Herrera dress with a similar neckline and hue. Among Diana's extensive jewelry collection was a striking emerald cut cocktail ring. The piece, a gift from Lucia Fletcher de Lima, was made by Asprey in the 1990s. Meghan reintroduced this ring, last worn in 1997, on her wedding day, for her evening reception. She paired the eye-catching piece with a sleek Stella McCartney gown for her evening reception at Frogmore House. One key moment saw King Charles and Meghan Markle's relationship grow even stronger before she and husband Prince Harry quit as senior royals in January 2020. In his January 2023 memoir Spare, Harry said the Duchess of Sussex and his father Charles were already close when the King learned that Meghan shared a birthday with his favourite person. The Duke of Sussex said the King's face lit up when he learnt that the former Supes star had the same birthday as his grandma, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. Harry wrote as per hello, towards the end of summer 2018, we went to Scotland, the Castle of May, to spend a few days with Pa. The bond between Meg and Pa, always strong, grew even stronger during that weekend. One night, over pre-dinner cocktails, Fred Astaire playing in the background, it emerged that Meg shared a birthday with Pa's favorite person, Gangon. August 4th. After the revelation, King Charles began telling touching stories about himself and the Queen Mother, whom he called Gangon as a child. Prince William reveals one issue that would have disappointed Princess Diana had she been alive. Prince William revealed that his mother, Princess Diana, would have been hugely disappointed with the persistent stigma surrounding homelessness if she were alive today. He has wished on various occasions that his mother was still with him so she could meet his wife and children. She died in August 1997 when she was just 36. Princess Diana was known for her humanitarian work and Prince William followed in his mother's footsteps. He is a huge advocate for homeless people and recently participated in Comic Relief's campaign for the homeless, as reported by The Mirror. He said, My mother introduced me to the cause of homelessness, from quite a young age, and I'm really glad she did. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.